Hello there, this is John the Gamer from MyBrainOnGames.com and I'm here to continue playing Project Gotham Racing 4 on the Xbox 360. I've said that line probably about a dozen times now and I am getting ready to move on from this game or maybe start doing longer videos in my quest to reach the top rank in the Gotham career mode. Maybe I could just not put all these videos out too, but why not? Why not take up all of YouTube's cloud storage with endless videos of Project Gotham Racing 4. Uh, more than anything though, I'm just wanting to, I'm about ready to move on to something different, uh, just so I can start playing something different A, but also maybe film something different. Um, let's see what we're going to be racing with. We've got Class A cars, I think last time we did Class A we did the Celine. That was pretty good, I liked it. It was all oh, the grip, I mean, it had great grip. Great braking. This thing has like zero drift ability. I mean, technically it's got two, but you know, it's basically zero. Um, let's give this a shot. You know, Mercedes, silver, it's classic. I'm gonna do red. I'm gonna do red uh, racing stripe and look like maybe a little American flag decal on the door. And uh, we've got a speed challenge. This should be a good vehicle to do that with considering its speed was 10 out of 10. Oh, but we are racing, looks like New York City, on a cold winter's day. Got some snowfall coming down. All right, we're in the top spot by a pretty good margin. the top spot. Ooh, that's not going to help us out. And we still got the top spot. And we maintained. Okay, good start to the series. Sends uh boom, me on top. Okay, right, next race. We've got a timed run. Same thing, New York City on a cold winter's day. I'm gonna look, because we got a rolling start here. Let's see what time the what the current time is on the clock. No, it starts right there. So we've got 424 to do this, and we've got two laps, however. Unlike I think the previous video or the video before we were racing in Shanghai, we had single laps to best the time. First place, I'm sure we're not anymore. place. In fact, we improved our time, or improved our lead.
Oh, okay, well... Okay, I see those. Whenever I was doing the Asia Timed Major, I only had one lap to do those because that was a hot lap event. This is a timed run. This is a combination of lap times. This is not a single lap I'm trying to set. There is just a patch of ice there, but I cannot get my brakes to get track or my tires to get traction. I'm slamming on the brakes. And it doesn't seem like it's this entire race course, it just seems like it's that spot. Time we got a 20 second differential. So we've got this wrapped up. Sit here and watch all the kudos get dispersed. Blah 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 blah. Next stage. Now we got a hot lap. This is where we have an individual lap to set a fast time on. I'm gonna grab some of these. Uh, what are these called? These are those bumpy jelly beans. The nerds. Bumpy jelly beans talking about earlier, earlier as in a couple of videos ago. Okay, see, well now we've got three laps to set a fast time. Not just one. So I don't, I don't know if there are hard and fast rules for these sorts of events, these sort of timed events. some first lap. Looks like I will. But we're gonna go for two more.
Got a little bit of handbrake drift back there. Figured since I've already got the time I need to win, maybe we get rack up some extra kudos. Of course, these corners, especially these sharp corners, are not really leaving me with a lot of room for error. They're pretty narrow. Still rack, rack up some decent kudos. Definitely not going to get that fastest lap time this go round. throttling the accelerator too much and got the back end too sideways. Okay, well, it looks like that's all the kudos we'll earn. But hopefully we got the first place finish we're after. We did, and we got a fair amount of kudos after that. Quit doing stuff like that. It doesn't benefit me. And you know what? I think the issues I was having where I was breaking on that one quarter but still sliding into the wall, I think it was due to snow or ice patches. I just saw some back there. I bet that's what was killing me. Oh yeah, because we got some right there. It looks like that's also what helped me to catch up with these guys so quickly. Okay, now this is gonna be this corner up here that I oh that I didn't want to do that to. Looks like we got about one more lap, maybe a lap and a half before its elimination is up to up to me.
Okay. Got the top spot. Let's see if we can hang on to it now. Oh, shit. I mistook that for another corner. I mistook that for this corner. It's kind of light corner. Okay. One and two. One and two. Looks like I'm going to corner that when it matters. Okay. Fifteen seconds left. Got it. We've got a pretty good lead. Twenty thousand kudos lead going into the final race. I bet we could come in last and still win first overall. I'm not gonna test it, but I think I could probably do that. Getting squirrely. There we go. Fell out of their slipstream and looked like started to kind of fall back, but. Got up to speed. Come on, pocket those kudos. Slipstream. Okay, back to the bridge. Yeah, now that we know that we pretty much got this locked up, I'm still gonna, you know, try and maintain third place. I think I'm gonna try and kick out some drifts to earn a little extra kudos. I mean, 
I'm going to get a lot of kudos from high speed just going on the bridge back and forth. That is if I don't lose my kudos. Looks like I'm doing good at pocketing that. This is long race. Kudos that time. Can't win them all. Wow, look at that yellow billboard with nothing on it. the wall that time. That's an improvement. Always improving. Okay, back to the other side. Take advantage of it. Uh, and touch the wall a little bit. Oh man, we're at max kudos. Well, no real reason for me to continue drifting or do anything. I'm not going to improve on third place, I think, either, though. So I'm just kind of, yeah, I am where I am. If you want any additional kudos, it's going to have to be from getting a higher spot than third. This is going to be my last chance to make any improvements to final lap. That. What is that, six seconds behind second place, though? These are like close to four minutes, something like that, four and a half minute lap, so now it's not too bad, but you know, six seconds, that's four seconds, however long it is, that's going to be a lot to make up. I'm not going to make that up unless the computer makes a mistake, and the computer doesn't seem to make mistakes in this game, unless you force them.
seconds, five seconds behind the second place. Looks like I got him an eyesight, so that's an improvement. All hope is not lost for second place, but it's going to be tough. Still got about two minutes remaining. Hmm. This race has been kind of uneventful. I mean, most of this time is just spent on this bridge, which, whenever there's other cars there, you're kind of fighting for position and then drafting each other. That's, a, that's pretty fun, but most of the time is spent solo. And you can search in your mind for uh, something. Something to keep you awake. Close enough to see the name and the country of origin. Okay, yeah, I closed that gap to two seconds, second and a half. Regardless, we had that in the bag to begin with. We max out our kudos from uh, performing tricks and cool stuff. That kind of stunk. But, got a lot of kudos. We'll settle for that. You know, we'll settle for first place by uh, 16,000 points. Oh, excuse me. Did I do my math wrong? Is that 26,000 points? No. It's really like 25,500, but still. Pretty great. And we got the full 40 tour points. That'll help us climb those ranks, trying to move towards first. Trying to move towards first. And we just made a significant leap towards 1 million kudos. So let's take a closer look here. Uh, we remain at 17th. We got still a ways away from 16th. We're basically going to have to... He's got, like, what is that, 30-point lead on us? We're still going to have to win, basically, another championship just to climb up the next spot. And then it's another little hill, but then it looks like a couple drop all at once, those three. Uh, what is top spot got at this point? We got three north of 1,000. J6 got 1088. And 764,000 kudos right on. Invitational. Let's go ahead and try and get this knocked out right now. We've done this Invitational once before. I lost. And I think the reason I lost was I was too used to racing those cars from the previous race I just did. But let's see if I can uh, comprehend this drop in class a little bit better. And you get 1700 drift points.
wall. Swing her around. Here we go, racking them up, racking them up. Oh, maintained that. Got that little bit still. Like we've got the 1700. Okay. Ran out of time, but I think we got the kudos. All right, got the Subaru. Chewing these candies I got in my mouth. Mmm, gummy candy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits there. It's getting pretty late, so I think I'm gonna hit the sack. And it looks like coming up soon, we're gonna have the major, the North American major. If I'm not mistaken, that's the only major we haven't completed yet, or we've completed, we haven't beaten yet, we haven't won. Upon doing that, hopefully we'll get it done this time, fingers crossed, uh, we'll be done working towards that achievement. We should have beaten all three majors, then it's nothing but going for a million kudos, which will be the next thing to pop, it looks like. And then finally, trying to reach first place. That might be a little bit of a lengthy process, but... It looks like it's doable, unless the se unless Gotham career ends, unless there's not an infinite amount of seasons you can compete in. That's something we'll find out in the future, though. I haven't done the research towards it. At this point, I'm just going to let the chips fall where they lie. I'm going to let the chips fall where they lie. I think I got that quote all sorts of messed up. Regardless, I'm just going to see how it all plays out. Uh, in the meantime, uh, this was John from MyBrainOnGames.com. You can check me out there. You can check me out here on YouTube as John the Gamer 0077 and try and post up some different videos, try and diversify my uh, productions aside from racing games. Not that there's anything wrong with them. I enjoy them. Uh, and you can also follow me on Twitter at John Engelman. But I'm heading out. I do appreciate you watching. So thank you. Bye bye.